Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to welcome back to my channel and another day of vlogist. It is day 12. Would you look at that? We're almost halfway through the month. I'm kind of getting burnt out, but you know, sometimes these things happen. So today, I am going to be uh, talking to you about what features I would like to see in the new Animal Crossing game. Um, so I don't really have any like gameplay footage to put over at the top of this, so it's just gonna be me talking, which I'm not sure uh, whether or not that makes a difference because I guess you can just listen to this video regardless. Um, but I have 10 things that I wanna see return in Animal Crossing New Horizons. A lot of them do happen to be from like the GameCube version of the game or population growing. Um, first one that I wanna see come back is morning aerobics. I just think that's such a cute idea and most of these are the gimmicky ones, so bear with me. But I think the morning aerobics thing is so cute that they like do it in the summer, it's at 6 a.m. and so you get up and you can like do it with your character, which I don't know if you would, but I thought it was so cute to be like, go see all of the townspeople get up early, like outside of the normal time frame to go do morning aerobics. The thing that I want to see come back in the next game is the um, made up holidays from City Folk and Wild World, just like the Lottie Day and Yay Day and all those cute, and Flower Fest and all those cute little like kind of gimmicky events that keep you coming back to play more and more without necessarily having a holiday. It made some of those drier months where there weren't as many events seem a little more fun because you always have something to look forward to. Oh, and the flea market. I loved the flea market. I, the first like Saturday of every month, I was always, I always had to make sure I got on the night before to move all the furniture that I didn't want to sell. But I think it would keep the gameplay also going on for a long time, even though um, it looks like the longevity of this game is going to be quite a bit, uh, just with all of the new features like crafting and. Um, building a town completely from scratch. So I'm sorry if you can hear my roommates. I'm not home alone today. Um, and I can hear them, so... that it's, I live with three other people, so I can't really expect perfect silence all the time. That would be unrealistic. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I want to see return, it hasn't returned yet, even in New Leaf, like the most opportunity to do that was have bigger towns with like the 15 villagers versus just like eight or ten um just because it's fun to have so many more and there's so many villagers to get to know or like that you might want to see in your town at some point that having a maximum amount gives you access to more characters and as they move out and move in you have more opportunities because you have more slots to fill which i think is super cool another thing that i want to return is lighthouse duty um, I, it, that, again, it's just another cute gimmicky thing, like Tortimer goes on vacation, so you get to go light the lighthouse every night. Um, especially with this game, it kind of has the potential for that, like maybe you could do, instead of doing like a lighthouse, you do something with like a landing strip for the planes or something. I guess you could still do a lighthouse because it looks like it is an island, but just something cute like that where it's kind of like an extra responsibility, it's kind of like people saying that they want jobs in the new game, which I think would be kind of fun to have your animals, like, be able to have jobs. <laughs> Next, I want, I want more from Lloyd the Gyroid because I feel like he really, um, didn't really, was not well represented in the most recent game. In the first game, he used to stand outside of your house. I forget if he was in Wild World. I don't think he was. In City Folk, though, he ran the auction house, and in New Leaf, he he stood outside collecting donations. But I think he should get more responsibility than that. Having to stand outside for public works projects was just kind of like, meh, they didn't really use your character to the fullest extent, in my personal opinion. That's also how I felt about, like, the police dogs, because you can only get one of them, and I'm like, no, they're a duo, I want both of them, don't make me choose chose uh, Booger because I like him better. Next feature that I want is the journal to come back because I thought it was really cute that you could like document your month, uh, like things you did that month. I think it would be better if you could document like every day or once a week because then you could keep track of all the stuff that you're doing and like all of the progress that you're making and kind of write. 
and have a place for that. I thought the journal was really cute in the first game because it was fun to like go back and read after a while. I didn't have as many entries as someone who would like who had played it when it first came out or like had it when they were a kid. I only had it in high school, so I didn't have that many journal entries, which was kind of sad, but it was always fun to go back and look after a while and see what I had done. The thing I want to see come back are the monthly raffles that Tom Nook used to do, um, because I thought they were really, uh, like, really cute. It gave you an incentive to like buy things, and it's just like a kind of a small town vibe kind of thing, like, oh, we know all of the people who shop here, and we're going to have a raffle with all of our little townsfolk. Um, Whereas now it just seems more of like, just too big, too big of a business. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, just taking, bringing back cute little things like that that might not have necessarily been included in the newer games, I think is a good idea because those were, those were most of my favorite parts of my Animal Crossing experience growing up. Next thing I want back, just because I like Brewster and I have a special place in my heart for him, is the gyroid storage because he was so passionate about them. He loved them. And I guess in the new game he gives you like, is it is it New Leaf that he gives you the gyroids that are made like him? I don't know. I think it is. I think it is. But I think they should play more into his love of gyroids because it's it was... One of those things where you had to get to know him super well before he would let you store them there. Another thing I want to see come back is QR codes, like being able to download um, outfits. Like I would go on Pinterest and download Q QR codes for outfits for like winter clothes and summer clothes. But I want to be able to still do that, which I don't know what kind of... I don't think the camera has a switch or the, the camera has a switch on it. The switch has a camera on it. So I don't really know how that would work but I would like to see the camera mechanism come back, or not camera mechanism, the QR code mechanism come back because that was like, I didn't really like making patterns or designs because I wasn't super great at it, but I did like being able to download path designs and like cute outfits for my character to wear because I'm not super good with the stylus and some people are and I like their outfits. <laughs> not least is I want them to bring the city back. Like, not necessarily in the same way, but I think it was just kind of a cute little thing that you could, like, go to the city. Whereas, like, Main Street was kind of like that, but it was a little bit different. I guess what I really want is just more places to go, so I feel like if they bring back all of the places that you were able to go from the older games, that it would just kind of add a little bit more to it. Like, you could still go to the island, or you could, and you can still go to the city and go wherever to all these different places. I think that would still be like super cute to be able to go do. Oh, that if you're on an island, there's really no city to go to. Or like maybe incorporating um, Happy Home Designer, like once your island gets big enough, you get to like design a city front kind of thing. Or you can like make a city to go to. Maybe not like right at the beginning, but like as you go, you can go to the city. But just adding kind of things like that because that was like the best gimmick for me for city folk was the city i was like i'm just gonna go pop into this city real quick be right back guys um and it made it so that like you could go look at other shops um you kind of felt like there was more variety and i also liked that they had the theater which i know is like club lol now but i don't know there was just something about the city versus like main street that was better for me. I liked Main Street, I did, I really liked the, the new shops that they added, but I think that it would make the cityscape more interesting to have those shops as well. And those are my top 10, so with that being said, leave in the comments below like what you want to see in the new Animal Crossing game, and like, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!